There is a small group of shows that have left an indelible mark on the medium, reshaping the way we perceive and consume television content. Among this elite cadre, Breaking Bad stands tall as a transformative force that ushered in a new era of storytelling and character development. Created by Vince Gilligan, Breaking Bad emerged from the crucible of the post-millennial television landscape, where it not only thrived, but also redefined the very essence of what a television series could be. At its core, Breaking Bad presents the saga of Walter White, a mild-mannered high school chemistry teacher who undergoes a profound transformation into a mass-murdering drug lord. Gilligan's genius manifested in his skill to weave a character arc that transformed Walter White from an unassuming Mr. Chips into a menacing Scarface. This metamorphosis served as the linchpin for the entire series, propelling the narrative forward with relentless momentum. Breaking Bad's unique achievement was its deft interplay between character-driven storytelling and action-packed sequences. From its very inception, the show's tone was one of cascading catastrophe, evident in the cold opening of the first episode, where Walter White records a farewell message, believing he's about to be arrested or killed. This bleak and suspenseful atmosphere set the stage for a roller coaster ride that lasted for five riveting seasons. One of the show's defining characteristics was its uncanny ability to create unbearably suspenseful action sequences, entire episodes, and multi-episode arcs. Whether it was plane crashes, poisonings, shootouts in parking lots, or poolside massacres, Breaking Bad consistently delivered heart-pounding moments. The pinnacle of this tension-building prowess was the three-episode-long confrontation between Walter White and Gus the Chicken Man Frank, culminating in the explosive season four finale. The show's emphasis on action not only made it compulsively watchable, but also set a standard that reverberated throughout the television industry. Breaking Bad's legacy in action-driven storytelling can be traced in numerous contemporary series, such as the battle is at pieces in Game of Thrones and the white-knuckle espionage of the Americans. These shows may appear dissimilar on the surface, but they share the DNA of Breaking Bad's ability to convey moral destructiveness through action. The series demonstrated that action could be a powerful tool for exploring complex characters and their moral dilemmas, a technique that has become a hallmark of prestige television. Despite its groundbreaking approach to action and character development, Breaking Bad often gets overshadowed by its association with the anti-hero trend that swept through television during its time. This trend, which placed morally ambiguous protagonists at the front, has since faced backlash and criticism. Breaking Bad, unfortunately, was sometimes misunderstood as a celebration of its protagonist's immoral action, rather than a dissection of his character. This misinterpretation was exacerbated by some fans who tuned in solely to watch Walter White triumph over his enemies, even if it meant vilifying his own wife, Skylar White. The backlash against Anna Gunn's character, Skylar, reached distressing levels of misogynistic vitriol, reminiscent of similar treatment directed at female characters in other series. Breaking Bad's association with this aspect of fandom highlights the challenges of interpreting complex characters and their journeys in television. Speaking of character development, how can we forget Ozymandias, the highest rated TV episode ever? For the majority of the series, Walter White clings to a self-deception, presenting himself as a desperate family man turned criminal for noble reasons. It's an illusion he maintains not only for the characters in the show, but also for the viewers. Yet, Breaking Bad delivers a profound blow to Walter White's carefully crafted facade in Season 5's Ozymandias, written by Maura Wally Beckett and directed by Rian Johnson. This episode is widely regarded as the pinnacle of the series, serving as a turning point for Walter's character. Unlike previous episodes, Ozymandias abandons the veneer of excitement and instead confronts viewers with an uncomfortable reality. The episode's deliberate pacing stands in stark contrast to the fast-paced action of earlier installments. One poignant scene finds Walter laboring to move a barrel of cash through the desert, a far cry from the formidable kingpin he once aspired to be. The slow, somber music in the background reinforces the notion that Walter's grandiose ambitions have crumbled. The climax of Ozymandias unfolds with excruciating tension, as Walter's family returns home, believing him to be in police custody. Viewers witness a profound contrast in their directional choices. 
Scenes featuring Walter are frenetic, edited rapidly, and filled with camera movement. Conversely, those involving his family move at a slower, contemplative pace, lingering on their expressions. The impending confrontation between Walter and his family becomes inevitable, and the truth dawns on viewers. Walter stands alone. Disturbingly, he deserves to. When he pleads for his family to join him, his son Flynn demands an explanation, leading to a raw and chaotic argument that feels unsettlingly real. The camera emphasizes the emotional turmoil by drawing the characters into tight frames, intensifying the claustrophobic atmosphere. It becomes clear that Walter's conviction of family unity is crumbling. Skylar, his once dutiful wife, refuses to be swayed. The revelation of Hank's death drives her to grab a knife in self-defense, resulting in a desperate and unchoreographed struggle. The fight is far from the polished action sequences seen in previous episodes, reflecting the grim reality of the situation. As the chaos ensues, the camera captures the tension in close-ups of Walter, followed by full shots of Skylar. The juxtaposition emphasizes Walter's isolation in his convictions, while Skylar refuses to be manipulated any longer. When Flynn intervenes to protect his mother, the camera frames their faces closely, highlighting the conflict. In the background, Holly's cries become a haunting backdrop to the unfolding tragedy. In a breathtaking moment, Walter exclaims, We're family. However, at this pivotal moment when he comes face to face with the emptiness of his words, as Flynn calls the police, Holly's playpen, once a symbol of safety, resembles the bars of prison. Walter, clutching the infant, rushes out, leaving behind a frantic Skyler. As the episode concludes, it becomes unequivocally clear that Walter White is in the wrong, and he always has been. He is fundamentally alone, a poignant realization as he embarks on a lonely drive down an empty road. In Ozymandias, Breaking Bad masterfully deconstructs Walter White's carefully constructed persona, revealing the depth of his moral decay and his ultimate isolation. This transformative episode leaves an indelible mark on the character and the series as a whole, solidifying its place as one of television's most profound moments. One thing we should remember is that amidst the backdrop of the Trump era, Walter White emerged as a metaphor for a specific strain of toxic masculinity. His character represented the downwardly mobile, middle-aged, middle-class American male betrayed by a crumbling health system. Walter White's descent into the criminal underworld, his confrontation with Mexican cartels and his alliance with neo-Nazis all took on a darkly prophetic tone in the context of contemporary American politics. The resonance between Walter White and the American right's rhetoric made his character all the more compelling and unsettling. Breaking Bad's enduring impact was in no small part due to the exceptional performances of its cast, most notably Brian Cranston in the role of Walter White. Cranston's portrayal of this multifaceted character earned him four Emmy Awards and solidified his status as one of television's finest actors. Walter White demanded a range of emotions from Cranston, from the concerned father to the ruthless drug lord, and Cranston delivered each facet with precision and depth. His ability to evoke fear, sympathy, and even empathy from the audience in different moments was a small sign of his remarkable talent. While Breaking Bad excelled in numerous aspects, its true legacy lies in its profound influence on the television landscape. As part of the second golden age of television, alongside other iconic shows like The Wire, The Sopranos, and Mad Men, Breaking Bad stands as a trailblazer that redefined the possibilities of television storytelling. It provided a blueprint for how to craft a compelling narrative with deep character development over a multi-season arc. In the wake of Breaking Bad's success, television entered the area of peak TV. Characterized by a proliferation of high-quality content across various platforms, the show's popularity, critical acclaim, and cultural impact paved the way for a new wave of content creators to explore ambitious storytelling and character-driven narratives. This led to the emergence of shows that aimed to replace Breaking Bad's formula, often featuring morally complex protagonists in long-form narratives. Breaking Bad's influence extended beyond its storytelling approach. The series demonstrated the power of meticulously planned character arcs, even when the writers occasionally wrote themselves into corners without a clear path forward. The willingness to trust in the storytelling process, to let the narrative evolve organically, became a hallmark of the series. It showed that successful television could be both meticulously crafted and creatively spontaneous. Also, Breaking Bad's impact on the limited series format cannot be overstated. 
shows like Fargo and American Horror Story adopted the notion of telling a single, self-contained story within a season, a departure from traditional episodic television. This format allowed for a more novelistic storytelling approach, akin to what Breaking Bad had achieved over its five seasons. The series also paved the way for other shows to embrace deeply serialized storytelling, challenging the episodic norms of television. Viewers became accustomed to the idea that a series could be a continuous narrative, where events from previous episodes had significance in later installments. This shift marked a departure from the formulaic storytelling of earlier television and contributed to the rise of binge-watching culture. Breaking Bad's impact extended to the technical aspects of television production as well. The show was lauded for its innovative cinematography, utilizing cutting-edge camera work and angles to create a visually arresting experience. The attention to detail in framing everyday conversations and action scenes elevated the series to a visual masterpiece. These cinematic techniques made even mundane moments feel monumental and added to the excitement of action sequences. Additionally, Breaking Bad's musical score played a crucial role in setting the tone for each scene. The show's soundtrack adeptly captured the mood of the narrative, enhancing the viewing experience. The marriage of exceptional cinematography and meticulously crafted score set a new standard for television production quality. Undoubtedly, Breaking Bad remains a landmark in the history of television. Having redefined the medium in multiple ways, its groundbreaking storytelling, exceptional cast performances, and innovative production techniques continue to inspire and influence contemporary television series. Breaking Bad's journey from Mr. Chips to Scarface provided viewers with an unparalleled character study while reshaping the landscape of television storytelling. It shows how the power of compelling narratives, complex characters, and innovative production can change television forever.